there's no doubt at all that she's in a difficult spot right now and I think a lot of Scottish voters will be maybe reconsidering their opinion of, uh, of the former First Minister. The allegations are, are very serious. Police have been investigating um, for the last two years after complaints about um, the whereabouts of £660,000, which was raised by the SNP um, as part of a crowdfunder um, to help with the campaign for a second independence referendum. Now, obviously, that referendum has never actually happened. Um, however, the money, um, which was apparently supposed to be in a ring-fenced fund, which could only be spent on the campaign, appears to have vanished, and they've been investigating it ever since. Obviously, her husband, Peter Murrell, um, who is now the former chief executive of the SNP, but was still chief executive at the time, he was arrested at the couple's home uh, a couple of months ago, and then shortly afterwards, uh, the SNP treasurer, uh, Colin Beattie, was also arrested. Now, uh, Mr Murrell, Mr Beattie and Nicola Sturgeon were the three signatories of the SNP's accounts which were submitted to the Electoral Commission. So it followed logically that she would probably be arrested as well. But a few weeks have gone past since um, Colin Beattie was arrested and there was a growing feeling, I think, that maybe she wasn't going to be arrested after all. So that's why yesterday, um, I think, was such a, such a major shock. Hamza Youssef is a very close political ally of Nicola Sturgeon. He ran in the SNP leadership contest earlier this year as effectively the continuity Sturgeon candidate. Um, obviously her husband, he's not been suspended from the party. Colin Beattie hasn't been suspended from the party. So it would have been a huge surprise, I think, had Nicola Sturgeon been suspended um, instead. So uh, I think politically as well, um, it would have been a seismic development where Nicola Sturgeon, given the fact that she was such a major figure, not just in the SNP, but in Scottish politics for the last 20 years effectively, for her to be um, kicked out of her own party would be remarkable. So I'm not, I'm not surprised, but you know, it does put more pressure on Hamza Youssef because quite a few SNP figures have said that she should be suspended. So obviously he's going to come in for criticism there, but he's weighed it up and decided that it's probably best that he keeps her in the party for now. Nicola Sturgeon put out a statement last night very strongly insisting that she was innocent um, and if you look at the, the response um, it was overwhelmingly positive from um, certainly on social media um, independent supporters. Um, Angus McNeil who is uh, a pretty senior SNP MP, no supporter of Nicola Sturgeon it has to be said, he's quite close to Alex Salmond, her predecessor. Um, he said that she um, should be suspended. So yeah, there have been calls for her to be suspended, but as I say, I think it would have been um, a huge shock, not least because Hamza Youssef is such a, a close political ally. She still is a popular figure in, in Scotland. I mean, certainly not as popular as, as she was. I mean, she was incredibly popular um, after she became leader. If you remember the 2015 general election, the SNP absolutely swept the boards in, in Scotland. At that time, she was by far the most popular uh, politi politician, if not the most popular person in Scotland with um, large numbers of voters. Um, but clearly, the, the shine has gone off Nicola Sturgeon. Even before this, her popularity was already, I mean, still high, but certainly not as high as it was when she decided to, to resign, which was a huge shock in itself in February. So yeah, so this is a further tarnishing of her reputation. Now, it has to be said, as I said earlier, she has, she's maintaining her innocence. She's not been charged with anything. So, you know, it may well turn out that this is as bad as it gets for her. But although support for the SNP has fallen, it's definitely not dropped off a cliff. You know, they are still leading um, uh, Labour and the Conservatives in Scotland. And support for independence itself doesn't really appear to have shifted at all. It's still around about 48, 49, 50 percent. So um, there is a base there for the party to build on, but it can't really move on until this whole um, investigation is dealt with. Now, if the worst comes to the worst from an SNP perspective and you know charges are laid and it goes to court, then obviously it drags on for much longer and that just makes Hamza Youssef's job as leader all the more difficult. But as I say, you know, it's not um, irreversible. It, it, they could turn it around, but it is going to be difficult for 
both the SNP to get back um, to the level of popularity that they had before, but also for the independence campaign, because the SNP is the vehicle for independence, and if they're in trouble, then the independence campaign as a whole is in trouble. So they need to get this out of the way um, as quickly as possible and get onto the front foot again. But yeah, it is going to be pretty tough.